infectious bovine keratoconjunctivitis conjunctivitis, or IBK, is a veterinary infection of cattle caused by Merixella bovis, a gram-negative, hemolytic, aerobic, rod-shaped bacterium. It is spread by direct contact or by flies serving as vectors. It is the most common ocular disease of cattle, mostly beef. IBK is similar to human pink eye and causes severe infection of the conjunctiva, edema, corneal opacity, and ulceration. This disease is highly contagious and occurs worldwide. Younger animals are more susceptible, but recovery with minimal damage is usual, if they are treated early. The disease is also known as pink eye, new forest eye or blight. Cause Merixella bovis is a gram-negative rod-shaped aerobe. This bacterium is an obligate intracellular parasite of the mucous membranes, and can usually be isolated from the respiratory tract, vagina, and conjunctiva of healthy animals. Transmission of IBK is through direct contact with mucous membranes and their secretions and indirect contact where flies act as a mechanical vector. Asymptomatic carrier animals can also be source of infection. Predisposing factors Ultraviolet, UV, radiation is implicated in cattle with no pigmentation around the eyelids in cattle with prominently placed eyes. Exudate from the sunburned skin around the eyes can contain bacteria and attracts flies. UV light also directly damages the corneal epithelium, leading to a breakdown in host innate immunity. Dust, dried up plants, tall vegetation, and oversized or incorrectly placed ear tags may cause mechanical damage to the eye and facilitate bacterial colonization. The disease may be complicated by concurrent infection with viruses such as infectious bovine rhinoreitis virus, bovine herpes virus 1, or adenovirus, bacteria such as Mycoplasma boviculi or Listeria monocytogens, or infestation by Thalasa, an nematode. Vitamin A deficiency is also implicated. IBK is most prevalent in summer and early autumn. A recent Meat and Livestock Australia report estimates that the disease cost Australian beef producers 23.5 million Australian dollars annually in lost production and treatment costs. Clinical Signs and Diagnosis The bacteria invade the lacrimal glands of the eye, causing keratitis, uveitis, and corneal ulceration. Cattle show signs of pain, increased lacrimation, excessive blinking, and conjunctivitis. More severe cases may show systemic signs such as anorexia and weight loss. Chronic untreated cases can become blind. Diagnosis is usually based on the clinical signs, but the bacteria can be cultured from lacrimal swabs or visualized on smears of lacrimal secretions. Treatment and Control Shade, insect repellent impregnated ear tags, and lower stocking rates may help prevent high BK. Early identification of the disease also helps prevent spread throughout the herd. Treatment is with early systemic use of a long-acting antibiotic such as tetracycline or fluorophenicol. Subconjunctival injections with procaine penicillin or other antibiotics are also effective, providing a bubble of antibiotic which releases into the eye slowly over several days. Anti-inflammatory therapy can help shorten recovery times, but topical corticosteroids should be used with care if corneal ulcers are present. M. Bovis uses several different serotyped fimbriae as virulence factors, consequently pharmaceutical companies have exploited this to create vaccines. However, currently available vaccines are not reliable. Vaccination Cooper's Animal Health, a division of Shering Plow, has released a new vaccine Piligard in Australia. 
The vaccine contains three strains of Morxella bovis, SA38, FLA64, EPP63, pili antigen. This stimulate antibody production against the bacterial pili to prevent their attachment and invasion of the conjunctiva. The company claims the vaccine reduces the incidence and severity of the disease in an individual animal which directly reduces animal suffering and production loss on top of limiting the spread of disease through the herd. This, in turn, reduces the amount of antibiotics and fly repellent needed during high-risk seasons. The vaccine is marketed in multidose files and has an adjuvant to create a long-term subcutaneous depot. This means no booster shot is necessary, but severe local reaction can be seen in people who accidentally inoculate themselves. Calves as young as one week old can be treated and no meat, milk, or export slaughter withdrawal is needed.